Hey, so how often do you find yourself sitting there on a Friday night and, and you realize like the only thing you need in your life right now is just two hours of physics videos to wake yourself up? So that's exactly what you're gonna get here. Uh, We're gonna go through the entirety of like a typical physics one and physics two uh, a curriculum and just we're gonna pound it in there because this is gonna be kind of the cornerstone of everything that, that we build on from here. Now, a fair amount of this that we're gonna talk about, um, we may not actually use, but so much of it will that, that I think it's worth reviewing here. Um, so, get ready for the ride. Now, um, uh, just for those of you who, who um, uh, may be joining us from a different school, transferring in, or, or just watching this randomly on the internet, um, a lot of what I'll be talking about here is gonna be based um, kind of on the, the physics one and two text that we use at Normandale, which is the um, um, Knight fourth edition. It's a calculus-based uh, textbook, and really, I mean, if you've gotten this far in physics, you've you, you've been using calculus all along. So, um, so the calculus now uh, should be kind of, I wouldn't say second nature, but at least that shouldn't be the most difficult part of it at this point here. Um, and um, generally speaking, I think, you know, if you're a little bit kind of rusty on any of this, the best thing is just to go back into your notes, uh, go back and rework the problems, because the problems are the easiest way to, you know, handle this. And um, literally sometimes when, when I get bored, and yes, I do this, I get out my physics books, uh, more from grad school, and I'll just, you know, look through the problems and uh, sketch out in my mind, how would I answer that if I had it on an exam now, you know? So, um, but again, you know, th this stuff is, it, the, every time you come back to it, the more it will make sense. And so that's why also this time through, um, and you know, as you, for, um, if you're reworking your problems in your text, um, hopefully because you're seeing it now the second time, or, or maybe, you know, the third time, that um, the first time you see things, typically the, you know, it, it's, it's a learning curve, it, you know, no matter what level of physics you're at. And it doesn't always make sense. But after you've taken the time to work through the, 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 uh, the problems in your course, you know, you've gotten a little bit further advanced in math, the math isn't really the obstacle now. Now when you come back and look at things, hopefully you can kind of see the, you know, the, what is it, what's the um, phrase? You can see the forest from the trees or, or whatever. Um, you can actually kind of make up the details that were maybe a little murky before because the impediments of like the math or the new terms you had before aren't there anymore. So, so really, I think the second time through, like when I did this you know, as a student, you know, it just made so much more sense when I reviewed all my undergrad notes before I started grad school. So, um, you know, I hope as you go through this, this is a, a worthwhile experience. Uh, we will be reviewing all of Physics 1 with Calc, and uh, which is uh, typically mechanics. Now, I'm not, I'm going to ignore the BS that really should never be in a Physics 1 curriculum, like, for example, uh, fluids, or night is just horrible at including crap that should not be in a physics one or two textbook. Like there's a whole like two or three chapters on particle theory, nuclear structure, astrophysics. No professor in hell teaching those classes would ever choose night as a textbook. It will never come up in a physics one or two curriculum. It shouldn't be in there. And you guys are paying the extra price because you've included shit that shouldn't be in there the first time. I apologize for it, but it's, it's, it's one of my pet peeves. Textbooks should not cost as much as they do. And the fact that we're loading up with crap that you never need is why. So um, there's my rant for the day. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, anyway, the point is, though, that I'm going to leave out the, the, the stuff that's not needed in a typical physics 1-2 setting. Um, so we're going to focus just on mechanics, uh, talking about kinematics, work, energy, um, um, forces, Newton's laws, and then circular motion and rotations. And then we'll talk about ENM or electricity and magnetism. Uh, and we'll go through the, the main laws of electrostatics, talking about electric fields, forces, potential, electric potential energy. And I will give a, 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 a overview and just a, well, a review of uh, Maxwell's equations, both in integral and in differential form. And uh, because this is the cornerstone of electromagnetic theory now. And so um, some of this may be at a slightly higher level than you've seen before, and that's okay because, you know, every time you see it, you'll be able to, to take it in at a higher level yourself. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started.